Good evening, Panther fans, and welcome to Southeast Lauderdale, where tonight's Panthers travel down south of Meridian to uh, for a district ball game between the Southeast Lauderdale Tigers and the Morton Panthers. Uh, be a district game for the Panthers. Uh, Panthers come into the night's contest with a two and six record. Uh, picked up their first district win last week against Choctaw Central. Would love to pick up another one and solidify their spot in the playoffs. Hopefully tonight, if they could pick up a big win here at Southeast. So, uh, Panthers uh, know Southeast Lauderdale all too well. Uh, Southeast Lauderdale has come to Morton and put two of our district championship teams out uh, over the past five or six years. So the Panthers know them well. Uh, it's always a good battle, a good hard-fought battle. Looks like the uh, Southeast Lauderdale has uh, won the toss and deferred. So the Panthers will be receiving, and they'll be going toward the scoreboard end. Uh, Panthers will be in white tonight with, with their traveling whites on and blue pants, uh, commemorating the uh, Breast Cancer Awareness Month with the pink socks on. So uh, you'll see that the rest of this month. Southeast Lauderdale also uh, representing with the uh, with the pink uh, socks. And uh, so uh, we're going to step away and we'll be right back with the bus through. And here come your Panthers. Panthers made a little couple couple moves last week and uh, showed some promise with the offense, uh, moving Tay Sims into the quarterback spot, uh, and um, Tay was able to uh, help with the calls to, to move, help the offense to move. Uh, put up some good numbers last week, and uh, hoping to see more of that this, this coming week. Uh, defense played very stifling, lights out, uh, giving up a couple scores right there at the end, but some younger. Younger guys getting a lot of playing time in. That's big, big, big last last week uh, with the win over Choctaw Central. We'll be back with the kickoff in the, just a moment. Jennings and Brassfield back to return. Southeast uh, does a little squibber onside type kick and ball takes a funny bounce and uh, looks like the Panthers got on top of it. Uh, uh, good, uh, good, good try by the Southeast Lauderdale kicker, but the Panthers recover and going to take over. It looks like uh, maybe James Johnson come up with that. Uh, number four, number four is going to be uh, Vonnie Barlow comes up with the ball. So uh, Panthers will start there first and ten. First down, Panthers at about the 33. Uh, looks like uh, Panthers had a. Receiver to get a little early start, so let's bring up a first down and 15 when we come back. First and 15 gives going to be right up the middle, and uh, trying to get the number on that youngster. Looks like the ball's on the ground. Looks like uh, Southeast Lauderdale picked it up, but they're going to mark it down. Um, not sure who that youngster was carrying the ball, but. Uh, he coughed it up, and uh, but luckily they said he was down. It's going to be a gain of about four. Going to bring up a second down and 11. Second down for the Panthers. Vaughn Jennings checks into the ball game. It's going to give to the coming around to the right side. He's looking, and uh, the Southeast Lauderdale does an awesome job of stringing it out and uh, going to go nowhere. Uh, so that's going to be a uh, maybe a loss of a half yard. It's going to be a third down and 12. Third down, big possession for the Panthers. Love to get something going right here. Gibbs going to be Devon off to the right side this time. Uh, he's still on his feet, and uh, he's got enough for a Panther first down out over the 45 to about the 47, 48 yard line. That'd be enough for a Panther first down. Panthers go twins to the. Bottom side this time. Gives gonna be two. It's gonna be a keep and uh, looks like uh, it's gonna be Sims keeping the ball up the middle for about three, maybe four. Bring up a second down and uh, let's call it six. Panthers in southeast territory now. Bring Tyler Watson over. Gives gonna be Devon coming to the left side, looking for some running room. Still on his feet, runs in. One of his own blockers uh, gets caught up in the wash there, but uh, it's going to be a gain of about four. It's going to bring up a 
Third down and a foul one. Third and short. I thought the Panthers ought to ask for a measurement on that, but uh, didn't. Vaughn looking for some running room. He's going to run into some trouble. He's fighting and plugging, but uh, second effort, he's going to have the first down. Uh, just good hard running. Vaughn knew where the sticks were, and uh, that's just uh, senior leadership there, knowing where the sticks were, and kept pounding and driving and uh, was able to pick up the first down. Bradfield's going to give Vaughn a, a break. <laughs> Panthers still moving the ball. Brassfield carries up the middle and uh, is going to pick up two or three. And uh, it's going to be down inside the 40 to about the 38. It's going to bring up a second down and let's call it six. Second down. Tay's going to keep this time and uh, he's going to be in trouble and he puts the ball on the ground and. Uh, Looks like uh, this time the Southeast Lauderdale has recovered, and uh, that's uh, just a young mistake there. No problem. Kansas got to just work on that. Hold on to that ball when you get in traffic. So uh, uh, Southeast Lauderdale had the ball uh, first and 10 at about the 38-yard line. We'll come back. First down Tigers gonna throw out into the flats. Got a man open, number four. He's got running room. He's gonna be gone unless somebody can catch him and they're not gonna get him. So one play and one touchdown for the Tigers and jump out to an early six to nothing lead with 7.58 left to go in the first quarter. We'll be back. Conversion coming up for the Tigers. Jack right here to do the point after. Now it's back, it's uh, a busted play or something, but uh, Panthers are going to knock it down, and the score remains six to nothing, and we'll be back in just a moment with the kick. Southeast kicking off again. It's going to do another squib kick. And looks like the Panthers got it, but uh, kind of took him off his feet. Uh, so uh, Panthers are started about the 30. First down Panthers. Gibbs going to be up the middle and uh, trying to get that youngster number. And uh, I think that's Contarian Wilson. Uh, number 22 on the carry. Good carry. Uh, we've got a flag down. Uh, at about the 46 yard line. So we got to check out the penalty. Um, uh, looks like it may be uh, against the Panthers. They're marking it off there. So uh, we'll, we'll check out the penalty and we'll be right, right back. First down, Panthers is first and 10 again after the carry. Had a block in the uh, hold or a block in the back. Uh, but uh, nevertheless, Panthers try to run. Looks like the same play again, and uh, it goes for naught this time. It's going to be a loss on the play. Uh, maybe a half yard. It's going to bring up a second down, and let's call it 11. Panthers going to fake the uh, Tays going to keep it, and uh, he's going to be upended at about the 35-yard line. Looks like he's going to pick up about three. It's going to bring up a third down, and uh, let's call it about seven or eight. Panthers bring two to the bottom side this time. He was going to be right up the middle. Devon, he breaks to the right side. Got enough for the first down. Uh, out over the 45 to about the 46-yard line, and that'd be enough for another Panther first down. Panthers stay in the same formation. He was going to be Devon again, and uh, looks like they uh, kind of hemmed that up that time. So uh, kind of caught us standing on our feet right there with some blocking. So uh, going to bring up a uh, second down and 10. Second down and uh, long nine. He's great the league. He was going to be Devon up the middle again, and uh, he's, again, he's going to run into a uh, load of traffic. Uh, 
It's going to be little to no gain. That's going to bring up a third down and long for the Panthers. Third down. Tay's keeping to the left side, and uh, he's going to run into some traffic. And uh, Tigers did a good job of defending that. Uh, so that's going to bring up a fourth down. It looks like Panthers are going to be in punting duties. We'll be back. Tori is on to do the punting duty. Snap back. A little bit of pressure, but he gets it away. Uh, it's not going to be returned, and uh, looks like the Panthers going to get down there. Uh, looks like Avani Barlow is going to get down there and uh, put it down. No, that may be uh, Trey Davis gets down there and, and spots it. So Tigers will take over at about the 23-yard line when we come back. Healthy Lauderdale second possession they only took one play to score a while ago They're gonna put it on the ground this time and number two is into the open and uh, Looks like he's got one man and finally Vaughn Jennings uh, Knocks him down, but not at before he picks up about 40 yards in a uh, Southeast Lauderdale first down Tiger's going to run it to number two again up the middle, and he's going to be uh, carrying it, running the ball hard down to about the 30. He's going to pick up about eight, eight and a half yards. Uh, he's going to bring up a second down and short for the Tigers. Sorry about that. It was going to be a second down and four. Uh, he was going to be the number two again up the middle, and uh, looks like uh, uh, Jennings overshot it. Uh, uh, Robert Jennings, that is. Oh, shot ahead him. Had a shot at him in the backfield. He's going to squirm forward. Uh, it's going to bring up a third down, and uh, let's call it two. It's like he uh, can be a direct to number 12, big youngster, uh, quarterback, and he's going to have enough for a first down down to about the 25. And that'll be enough to move the sticks for the Tigers. And uh, Tigers are quickly knocking on the door again with 2.54 left to go in the first quarter, already leading six to nothing. And uh, just outside of the red zone at the 25, uh, it looks like the uh, Tigers are going to uh, stay in the same formation they went with a while ago. Gives the number two. Uh, he's driving down inside the 25 to about the 20. 223 yard line gain of two maybe three gonna bring up a second down and seven tigers put two defenders out to the left this time gives gonna be the number two again and uh panthers had another shot at him in the right in the backfield and just couldn't quite get to him Junction are gonna carry it down to about the 20. it's gonna bring up a third down and let's call it six Panthers need a big stop right here. Tigers are going to give the number two again, and he's going to plow forward down inside the 20, down to about the 16-yard line. Got to see where they're going to make the spot at. Looks like he's going to be a yard, maybe two yards short. Let's call it fourth down, and let's call it a long three. Tigers going to roll the dice early. They're going to go for it. Quarterback looking to throw, gonna throw into the flats. Got a man open, number four. Gonna make the catch down to about the 11 yard line. And that'll be enough for a Tiger first down. First down. Tiger's running jet. Got number nine and he cuts back to the inside and gonna get down inside the 10 to about the nine. It's going to bring up a second down, and let's call it, that. Let's call it eight. Second down, Tiger, last play of the first quarter. Uh, Gibbs going to be the number two. He finds the seam, going to be down inside the five to about the three. Going to be very close to another first down, and that's going to run out your first quarter. First quarter, six to nothing, Tigers and Panthers are backs against the wall. Uh, we'll be back with a third and one at the other other end of the field in just a moment. We'll be back. Third down and a long two. 
Well, the Tigers, you'd think they'd run it with that quarterback up the middle right here, and that's what they're going to do, and he's going to bounce it to the outside, and he's going to go into the end zone for a Tiger touchdown. Tigers score first in the second quarter, stretching that lead from 6 to 12. We'll be back in just a moment with the kick. Tigers show the swinging gig. We'll bring it over in. 36 for the point after for the Tigers. Snaps back, kicks up. And it's good. 13 to nothing. 1154 in the second quarter. Panthers in the hole early. We'll be back. Tigers set the kick. Vaughn and Brass seal back deep. Uh, looks like uh, Panthers are going to just get on it again. Uh, Barlow, I think that's his third one tonight. He's uh, covered up for the Panthers. So uh, Panthers are starting at about the 33 when we come back. First down, Panthers. Bond's going to run into a hornet's nest off the left side. Uh, looks like the uh, Tigers are walking eight and nine up in the box. Um, just pretty much saying uh, we don't think you're going to throw it and we're going to stop your run. So uh, see if the Panthers make some kind of uh, substitution here. Um, second down. Uh, Tay is um, still at your quarterback. Looks like he's running a little nasty formation to the left. Uh, uh, Tay's going to keep it uh, up the middle. He's going to have... Carry the ball out to about the 39 yard line. Looks like it's going to bring up a third down and five. Third down and let's call it five. Tay's going to keep it, trying to get to the outside, and he's going to be knocked down short of the 40 yard line. Uh, just, um, just good defensive play by the Tigers, and the Panthers will be forced to punt again. Torres back punt. Snaps back. Kicks away. Kind of end over ender. Uh, Barlow's down there to get on top of it. They're not going to try to return it. Uh, looks like Trey Davis is going to spot it at the 25, and that's where the Tigers will take over for their third possession of the night when we come back. South East comes out first and 10. Two receivers to the bottom side. Gibbs is going to be the number, looks like number two, and he's going to be corralled and swamped in right there. Uh, finally going to be stopped, a little pushing going on, but no flag. So bring up a second down and long for the Tigers. Tigers, second down and 10, going to throw out into the flat to number four again. Uh, he's been a potent receiver for him, and he's still on his feet. And one guy, finally, J.J. Foster. Corrals him and runs him out of bounds, but he'd like to have broke it. Ball's going to be spotted at about the 48-yard line in Panther territory. Uh, he's uh, pretty shifty. Panther's going to keep a close eye on him the rest of the night. First down, Tigers. Gibbs is going to be the number two off the right side, and he's going to be hit quickly by number 62, uh, Terrence Jones, uh, for about a yard gain. Going to bring up a second down and nine. Second down, Tigers. Bring a man in motion. Panthers going to bring a little, uh, little pressure up the middle, and he squeezes through for a gain of about three. Looks like it's going to bring up a third down, and let's call it five. Third and five. Panthers need to get a stop right here and get the defense off the field. They are just, uh, they have uh, been struggling in the first half. Looks like a Terry and Wilson is uh, going to be in there on the stop. Uh, but the ball, boy, he got a real good spot. That was a bad spot right there, but uh, nevertheless, he looks like he's got it. Uh, they they give him a really, really good spot there. So, but I guess you get all the calls when you're at home. So uh, that'd be a first down, Tigers, uh, just outside the 25-yard uh, line. That's pitiful. First down, Tigers. 
Number two on the carry uh, off the right side and um, it's going to be little to no gain. Going to bring up a second down and ten. Panthers looking for a stop here. Gives the number two. Uh, bounces off of one would-be tackler and continues his pursuit down the field down to about the 25. And looks like that's going to move the chains again. So quickly the Panthers are finding themselves uh, already down two scores and uh, Southeast Lauderdale driving for a third. We'll be back. Tigers pretty much staying in the same formation, just working, working number two pretty hard. Looks like number 31 was the first one there, Dalton Busby. And uh, looks like you're starting to see some frustration set in. So uh, uh, going to bring up a second down and 10. Six minutes left to go in the second quarter. Uh, looks like they're going to save the ball. Must have hit the ground, and looks like the Panthers come up with it. Panthers really needed a break right there because uh, Tigers had everything going in their way. Um, so the Panthers get a turnover and uh, to, uh, to to break the break stride, finally get that defense off the field. We'll be back with the offense in just a moment. Here's going to be Devon Jennings. He's bobbing and weaving. He's in the wide open. Only number one can catch number one, and uh, he's going to finally corral him enough to uh, uh, get him to uh, cut back. And when he does, looks like number 19 for the – or 17 for the Tigers is able to catch him on. But uh, finally broke that one through, and the Panthers uh, down around the 26-yard line in one play. Uh, been a lot of big plays tonight. Uh, so that will be a Panther first down. And 5.54 left to go. Still plenty of time in the second quarter. Panthers get back in this thing. Tay's going to go off the other side and uh, kind of up the middle to the right side. And uh, he's going to barrel down to about the 21 and a gain of about five. Quarterback keeper off the right side. 21. He gives Vaughn up the middle. He's got some running room. He's going to get into the end zone for a Panther touchdown. Torres on for the extra point. Looks like uh, Franklin for the hole. And looks like the kick is up, and it is good. And your score, 13-7, 520 left to go. In the second quarter, we'll be back with the kickoff in just a moment. Oh. Torres on for kicking duties. See who he's going to pick on this week. And it's going to be a, a little lobber. It's going to fall. Uh, one of the up men grabbed it and bobbled it for a second, but was able to cover it up. So uh, Tigers will have the ball first and 10 right at the 40 when we come back. <laughs> Looks like the Panthers have swapped places and going to have uh, Trey Davis is uh, covering uh, number four out here to the uh, close side. And uh, looks like number two is going to carry the ball and uh, be brought down after a gain of about a long six, maybe. I think we can call that seven. We can bring up a second down and four. Looks like uh, Southeast is going to be content to Continue to pound the ball. Going to run the big quarterback, number 12, and uh, he's going to be hit and corralled. And uh, uh, Panthers quickly uh, corral on that play. And uh, it's going to bring up a third down and uh, let's call it five after the loss of two. Third down, long four. Quarterback looking to throw. Throws back out. And, oh, it hit on the ground. Uh, uh, number four hadn't missed anything tonight, uh, and I think the only reason he missed that one is it just went into the dirt. So, uh, it's me fourth down and punting situation for the Tigers. Uh, James Johnson back to return the punt. Quarterback is your punter. You always got to watch that. This big, high, booming kick. 
And uh, James is going to call for a fair catch and down that one at the 25-yard line. Good job hanging on to it because he hit a boomer above the light. So uh, Panthers will take over with 3.55 left to go. Plenty of time. Put together a drive. We'll be back in just a moment. Panthers stay in the nasty formation. Uh, bon Jen and bobbing and weaving. Uh, trying to find his way out around close to the 30, about to 29. It's going to be a gain of about three. Let's call it second down and seven. Well, Tigers not fools. They got 10 in the box. So, uh, looks like the Panthers may have moved prematurely. So, uh, going to have to bring that one back. Uh, uh, be a mark off. It'd be a Panthers would be behind the sticks. So it'd be second down and let's call it 11. Can be a kick by Tay Sims. He's looking for some running room. He's going to barrel out over the 30 to about the 32. Uh, get back some of that penalty yards and some more. It's going to bring up a third down. Waiting for the marker to. Mark it and looks like it'll be third down in a long four. Gibbs going to be Devon and he is met in the backfield and uh, going to be knocked down and drugged down and thrown down and uh, looks like it's going to bring up a punting situation for the Panthers when we come back. Fourth down, Panthers going to punt it after thinking about it. So, Torres aims it up, sizes it up, and uh, going to kick it. Uh, if he was throwing it, uh, he would have hit Barlow right in the, right between the numbers. But uh, looks like it's going to leave about a minute and 40 uh, for the uh, Tigers uh, right at midfield uh, when we come back. See if the Tigers want to try to add to their lead. Got plenty of time. Quarterback number 12 looking to throw, looking to throw. Going to throw back the other way, and he hits number three on the slant and put a spot on at the 30-yard line. And uh, got a flag come in at the end of that. Uh, ball's going to be spotted right at the 30. It looks like uh, maybe uh, unsportsmanlike on uh, Southeast Lauderdale. Uh, and uh, if that's the case, that'll back it up 15 yards. So looks like it is going to be on the uh, Tigers. So that'll back them up to uh, about the 45. If that's a 15-yard penalty. So that'll back them up. Uh, still a minute and 41 left to go. Plenty of time. Panthers have got to watch that. Uh, quarterback threw that on a dime. Um, looks like... Uh, We'll be back. Quarterback number 12, he's looking to throw again. Throw is a bullet and uh, complete to number 17 uh, at about the 32-yard line. He's going to pick up a lot of that penalty and uh, going to bring up a second down and let's call it two. Tiger's going to move quickly now, down to a minute 15. Quarterback looking, looking. Going to be play's going to be blown dead. We've got a flag on the play. Uh, not sure what this flag is about. Uh, looks like an offsides against the Tigers, so uh, that'll back them up five. We're going to bring up a second down. Let's call it seven. Second down. Quarterback looking to throw, and Blitz is coming, and Brassfield brings him down. And uh, looks like uh, they're going to say that he was down, I believe. No, they're going to give it to the Panthers. They're going to say Brassfield took it away from him, and uh, number 12 is slow to get up. Uh, um, he did not see him coming. Uh, Brassfield come on touched and now you got a flag being thrown looks like it may be a sideline uh, uh, warning against the uh, Tigers so uh, Panthers 56 seconds have got plenty of time uh, to work on this they just get their heads uh, together good job by Brassfield coming around the end and uh, 
Number 12 quarterback uh, for Southeast just did not see him, and uh, so uh, that's going to put the ball at the 45-yard line. Panthers will be first and 10 uh, with 55 seconds left when we come back. First down, Tay looking, looking, looking like he's going to. Going to throw it. Going to be complete to James Johnson. He's going to carry the ball down to about the 46, 47 yard line. Good job, Tay. Just kind of looking, 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 and finally found him. Uh, found an open man. So uh, that's going to bring up a second down and two. Vaughn uh, carries and looks like he's got enough for the first down, which will stop the clock with 20. 5, 26 seconds, so uh, looks like the Panthers going to take a timeout. Uh, looks like he, it looks like from here, he, got the, he does have the first down. Well, I think, but the Panthers are going to take a timeout nevertheless. 26 seconds left to go, 13 to 7 is your score. We'll be right back. As we come back, Panthers go trips right. Brass steals the quarter to your uh, running back. Tate looking to throw, looking to throw. Go! Oh, he found a man. Uh, that's going to be a Vonnie Barlow, and uh, he's going to have another first down at about the 30 with 18.7 seconds. Uh, looks like we got a penalty flag. Uh, looks like an illegal man downfield call, maybe. Uh, but uh, so that'll neglect, negate that uh, catch and run. So, uh, so uh, that'll bring that back. Still 18.7 seconds left uh, after the penalties. Going back the ball back out to midfield. So, uh, Panthers. Uh, looks like the clock is going to run, and uh, looks like Panthers not going to stop it uh, and try to get another play. Uh, it looks like the Panthers are just confused. Finally, with 5.7 seconds left. They uh, stopped the clock, so I don't know. I don't know. We'll take a timeout. We'll be right back. Looks like the Panthers are going to go trips to the top side, and uh, Tay's going to just run it and going to be slung down. Uh, for little to no gain, that's going to run out your first half. And uh, Tigers lead 13 to 7. Uh, a little jaw jacking going on at the end. But uh, that's going to be the end of your first half. We're going to take a timeout, catch our breath. Uh, looks like uh, Southeast is going to run away with it. And uh, Panthers come storming back and score and, and had an opportunity a couple more times to put some points on the board. But a uh, uh, whole another second half. So. We'll be back in just a little bit with the second half. As we start the second half, Torres will be on to the kicking duties. Southeast to be receiving. Torres to do the kick if it's out, Panthers. One four nine deep. What a wild first half. Looks like uh, there's your kick. Going to be an onside kick. Going to be taken by one of the up men and uh, going to get down on it. They're about the 44-yard line. That's where Southeast will start when we come back. Tigers <clears throat> come out and start the second half. Bring number 17 in motion. Panthers uh, bringing some pressure around the end. Uh, looks like uh, uh, trying to see who that youngster is. Uh, maybe that's um, Zalem Barrett ain't on the stop. It's going to bring up second down and nine. <laughs> Tigers. A little motion again. Gives going to be to the first man through. Panthers uh, stop it up and uh, uh, stop for little, little to no gain. Uh, looks like it's going to be about the same spot. It's going to bring up a third down and nine. Uh, this has been uh, typically a throwing down for uh, the Tigers. Been throwing to number four down here in the bottom 
over your screen. Uh, uh, Trey Davis is is covering him right now, but don't forget about number three on the other side who caught a big pass across the middle. Uh, he's going to throw it to number three and wide open, and nobody's going to catch him. So uh, Panthers uh, knew it was coming, uh, knew it was going to be to one side or the other, and uh, uh, three plays, and the Tigers is back on the scoreboard, and they stretch their lead out to 19-7. to seven. We'll be back. Tigers are going to go for two with a swinging gate. They're actually going to go, and it looks like they're going to get in there for the two-point conversion. So your score, 21-7, to seven. Tigers lead. Swinging gate, that's how it works. We'll be back. Panthers, Vaughn Jennings, and Brassfield back to receive. I'll kick a scribber, and Vonnie Barlow's going to take it and just take a knee at the 31, 32 yard line. That's where the Panthers will take over when we come back. Um, after a little conversation with the officials, we're ready to go. Coach Queens uh, uh, looks like Tay's still got the ball and uh, kept it and followed Vaughn. And uh, good first down pickup all the way down to the 42 43 yard line. Uh, that, that was a good looking play. You might need to see that again. Uh, that got the ball moving. Panthers in uh, southeast territory and uh, quickly pick up a, a quick first down. And uh, we're back to rolling again. Uh, first half was kind of uh, kind of stagnant a little bit. Uh, second half looking like uh, may, may be uh, one of them highfalutin affairs. Uh, Vaughn's going to be caught in the backfield this time. Uh, uh, looks like he was grabbed by in the, in the back of the helmet, uh, but no call. So uh, it's going to be uh, second down, and it's called it about 17. Second and long for the Panthers. Going to uh, keep and follow again, and uh, looks like uh, Southeast may have done figured that out. Uh, had uh, several... Several of your blockers out in front had gotten to the second level, but uh, some of the wash had uh, had come around from the backside and was able to, to corral Tay before he got uh, on on the on the on the, um, turning on the jet, so to speak. So uh, uh, looks like Lamarcus Denson is back into the ball game, uh, checking in at the bottom of the screen. Now we got a flag on the play. Looks like it's going to be a false start on the Panthers. Uh, That'll back it up five. It's going to bring up a third down and about 18 when we come back. Third and long. Panthers keep it uh, up the middle with Tay. He's going to get a lot of that uh, penalty yardage uh, knocked off. It's gonna, looks like it's going to be around fourth and about 10. Um, so it looks like the Panthers are going to bring the punt team on and uh, see, a, see if they can play a little field position. We'll be back. Torres back to punt. Going to lay one up and it's going to hit it to about the 20 and a little spin, a little uh, English on it. It's going to drop dead at about the 18. And that's where the Tigers will have it when we come back. Panthers digging in on defense. Love to get a turnover or something down here. A uh, big stop right here. Uh, looks like number two on the carry, and J.J. Foster is going to corral him, but uh, not before he picks up a big chunk of yardage. Uh, good first down pickup of about eight. Going to bring up a second and two. Second down. Gibbs going to be the number two again. He's still on his feet. Jennings giving chase. Balls out. Looks like the Panthers come up with it. Uh, looks like the Panthers may have uh, recovered a fumble. And the officials are pointing that way. And the Panthers have picked up a fumble. And uh, got the ball in Southeast Territory. Uh, uh, right at the 36-yard line. We'll be back. First down, Panthers, after the turnover. Keep 
Paige is going to keep it to the right side and uh, looking for some running room and uh, just a step away. Going to carry down to the 30. Going to be a gain of about six. Going to bring up a second and four. Another bad spot. Ball moved back to the 31. Uh, don't understand that, but uh, anyway, Gibbs is going to be Devon again and he cuts it back and is going to carry it down to about the 25, which is going to be. Uh, Really close. Let's just see where they mark it at. And uh, um, we got a stoppage on the play. Uh, they're going to mark it short. It's going to bring up a third down, and let's call it less than a yard. Third down, a lot of fourth and a half to go for a fourth down. Panthers still got an extra back in. Uh, Gibbs going to be the Tay. Uh, he's going to be down inside the 25. Looks like he got enough. Uh, uh, inside the 25 down to about the 24 so uh, that's going to uh, be a first down Panthers Panthers gives going to be Devon and uh, luckily he got, got away uh, some pressure come from around the end and almost caught him in the backfield but uh, he was able to squirt forward for a looks like about Eight yards, seven and a half, eight yards. It's going to bring up a second down and two. Brassfield checks into the ball game. Give Vaughn uh, a break. And uh, Brassfield, oh, he's still on his feet. Uh, looks like he was brought down. And uh, now we're going to play push to pile. And the pile is going to carry down to about the three. Uh, maybe the two-yard line. Brassfield was almost. Uh, I don't know. Brad, Southeast was running off the field like they had the ball, but uh, uh, officials hadn't said anything likewise. So it looks like it's going to be second down uh, or first down, first and goal from about the three. Uh, Panthers quickly come back to the line. We're going to try to get the play off. Uh, give to Brassfield. No, it's going to be a keep by Tay, and he was going to follow the pile, and uh, he got caught in the wash. Uh, wasn't able to get through before uh, the, the ends come around and uh, collapsed uh, collapsed it in. So uh, Vaughn Jennings checks back into the game. So now you got Vaughn and uh, Brassfield into the backfield at the same time. So uh, um, it's going to bring up a second down and goal. Back out at the three. Vaughn's going to go right up the middle, and he's going to barrel into the end zone for a Panther touchdown. 443 left to go in the third quarter. Panthers respond to Southeast Lauderdale's quick score uh, with a score off of a turnover, off of a fumble. Uh, they did that in the first half. Uh, looked like the uh, Tigers were fixing to pull away, and... Uh, all of a sudden, they cough up the football, and uh, Panthers uh, make them pay for it. So the score 21 to 13, and we got a stoppage on the play. Um, if this was Saturday afternoon football, we would say this was being reviewed by the people upstairs in the booth, but uh, uh, we know that's not the case. So uh, uh, still trying to figure it out. Now they roll it for time to play. James Johnson doing the holding for uh, Torres tonight. Snaps down, kicks up, and it is good. 21-14, 4.43. We got a ball game again, folks. We'll be back with the kick in just a moment. Tori has set the kick. Let's see who he's going to find to be his friend tonight. Oh, he's going to keep it to number 74. And number 74 does a good job of getting on top of it. We were trying to figure out who was going to be his friend, and uh, 74 was not Torres' friend. He uh, covered the, uh, the squib kick, so uh, Tigers got good field position right at midfield. So the defense uh going to have to uh, – well, oh, we got uh, something going on here. It looks like we may have had an offside. So, uh, uh, going to move it back to the 35, so Torres is going to get another opportunity to uh, pick him out, somebody to uh, pick on. Looks like uh, some kind of penalty, must have been a penalty on Panthers, must have been offsides. Because uh, Torres is going to kick from the 35. I think Torres kind of puzzles me. Sometimes he uh, 
the way he aims his kick, so you just don't really know which way he's going to go. Now he's going to pooch it down into about the, uh, looks like about the 32, 33 yard line. He's going to be uh, run out of bounds. Uh, looks like at about the 40. Uh, I'm trying to see, the, I'm trying to find the official. I can't find him. Looks like it's going to be around the uh, 41, 42 yard line. That's where the, uh, the Tigers will start there. Panthers come out on the better end of the deal with that re-kick. Gibbs going to be the number two. He's bobbing and a weaving, looking for somewhere to go, and the Panthers uh, uh, hadn't brought him down. That boy, a youngster, is hard to bring down, so uh, uh, Panthers finally get him stopped. Uh, so uh, that's going to be J.J. Foster in on the stop. It's going to bring up a second down and eight. Just about four minutes left to go in the third quarter. Second down and eight. Gives the number 15 up the middle. And looks like Dalton Busby lays the wood. Looks like the ball may have hit the ground. But uh, nevertheless, looks like uh, Southeast still got it. So it's going to bring up a third down and five. Number three uh, to the top side of the field. Uh, everybody better keep an eye on him. Uh, Looks like uh, number 12 is under pressure. He's going to throw it, and uh, it's going to be completed to uh, looks like uh, number four. Nope, number nine. And uh, they're going. It's going to be enough for a Tiger first down all the way down to about the 30, uh, 32, 33 yard line where the ball is going to be spotted. So it's going to get the Tigers a first down and. Uh, Panthers uh, just uh, had him under had him under wraps, but uh, he was able to uh, buy some more time and find an open man. So, watch number three. He's continuing to be at the top of the field. They may go for the juggler now and come back and try to throw. Nope, number 12 is going to keep it off to the right side, and uh, he's going to have seven or eight yards, uh, or, or maybe about four, uh, before he'll be corralled there by. Uh, Looks like uh, Bashan Washington. Uh, I think that's not Bashan. Uh, it's hard to see the numbers. Maybe it was J.J. Foster in on the stop. So uh, be a gain of about three and a half, maybe four. Gonna bring up a second down and six. Two forty-four left to go in the third quarter. Number seventeen comes in motion. Gonna give on the jet. He's. Uh, uh, finds a few yards. Uh, finally, it's going to be wrapped up there. I'm kidding. Uh, just couldn't get the number. Let's say that was Bashan Washington, maybe, uh, in on the stop. It's going to bring up a third down and five. Third down and five. Just like the uh, Panthers in the same situation. They need to pick up a stop right here. Quarterback looking to throw, looking to throw. Going to throw it, and it's going to skip in, uh, off the turf. And go incomplete. Uh, looks like number four was wide open in the end zone, and uh, he just got missed. So uh, looks like the Tigers is not running anybody on to do any punting or kicking. So uh, looks like uh, it's going to be a fourth and five, and looks like the Tigers going for it. We'll be back. Fourth down. Tigers going to roll the dice. And Panthers try to bring pressure off the end, and it looks like they got to him. Uh, looks like that's big bad J.J. Foster. And we got flags, flags, flags. And uh, not sure what the call is, so. Uh, uh, officials are talking to Ty. Uh, Weems on the side over there, and uh, they're getting a, fear, a full a year full from both sides, but. Uh, but uh, I didn't see what the flag was for. But we'll, we'll, we're going to step aside. We'll be right back. Holding was the call, and that was declined, and the Panthers uh, take over at T-33, and Tate's going to carry it around the end. Whoa! Get him out of the fence! That was a – he is – Tay has been knocked into the fence, and his legs are in the fence. He was hammered. And there's flags all over the field. And let's just hope he's not hurt. Uh, I think Tay is still down on the ground. Uh, there's another flag. And that's on the Panthers. Uh, 
the dumbest play to me. Uh, that was, uh, that was, uh, I don't know if you can have a flagrant foul, but, uh, so they're all setting penalties, but, uh, I, I, the one right here was, 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 was flagrant. Uh, that was, that was horrible. Uh, Tay had his legs hung up in the fence, uh, and I mean, he got planted. Uh, and and if there's no other call, Ty, Ty may get himself thrown out of the ball game here. Uh, but uh, that's 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 just horrible. That's that is truly horrible. If Panthers don't get anything out of this, this is truly a, 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 a terrible. We're gonna step away. We'll be back. Offsetting penalties. Uh, Tay's gonna come out of the game. Uh, to, as well he should uh, catch his breath uh, I'm sure it uh, probably uh, got him uh, bewildered there but uh, no he did stay in the game I'm sorry he, he stayed in the ball game so uh, Brassfield comes out and uh, uh, Vaughn comes back into the ball game gain of about one it's coming up a second down and nine Panthers going to stay in the uh, Kind of the heavy package, and uh, looks like Tay's going to carry it right up the middle out to a right around midfield, maybe just short of the 50-yard line. That's going to bring up a third down, and let's call it a long five when we come back. Gives Devon off the left side. He cuts back inside. He's going to get over the 50 down to about the 47. Uh, looks like it's going to be fourth down and decision time for the Panthers. Uh, that's going to be the – I don't think the Panthers will have to run another play. Uh, looks like it's going to be uh, – yeah, the Panthers don't have to run a play. Got a flag on the play. Uh, didn't see that. I'm sorry. Uh, we had to, uh, after the pile cleaned out, uh, there was a flag on the play. So we're going to step aside and see what that penalty is. We'll be right back. That's the end of the quarter. Uh, Panthers uh, got hit with a unsportsmanlike conduct penalty. Uh, uh, we never, never did get any kind of clarification on that. But uh, that's the end of the third quarter. Panthers trailing 21 to 14. Uh, looks like maybe a punting situation when we come back. Panthers going to punt. Corey is on for the punting duties. Come get a uh, high end over ender. Uh, it's going to bounce down inside the 45, down to about the 43. Uh, and that's where the Tigers will take over early in the fourth quarter, leading 21 14. We'll be back. First and 10, Tigers. Panthers need a big stop right here. Gibbs going to be the number two. He's uh, plowing forward and uh, finally he's going to be brought down at about the 46-yard line. Uh, but after a gain of about three, going to bring up a second down and seven. Second and seven. Gibbs is going to be the number two again up the middle. Uh, Robert Jennings and J.J. Foster in on the stop again. It's going to bring up a third down, and let's call it about, about four. Third down. Panthers need a stop right here. Quarterback looking back to throw. He's going to throw into the flats. Got number four again. And uh, that's about the third time tonight he has bitten us pretty bad. Uh, uh, we took a shot at him, and uh, he was able to squirt free and uh, pick up the first down. And now the Tigers are down inside the 30 at about the 29 and knocking on the Panthers' door again. Panthers now need to look for a turnover. Uh, or something right here. Uh, number two is going to carry and bob and weave and uh, looks like he's going to be knocked down by Dalton Busby uh, before he could get started too good. So that's going to be a uh, gain of one. Come bring up a second and nine. Second and nine. Number three is at the top of the screen. Uh, number two is going to plound up the middle again. J.J. Foster is in there and uh, 
Uh, trying to get that other youngster, maybe Robert Jennings, in on the stop and got some uh, skirmishing and words and uh, being uh, a little bit of a, uh, getting a little chippy out there. So uh, Panthers really got to watch yourself. They've been victim of the uh, unsportsmanlike bug a lot this year and uh, have to watch yourself right now, which they're still in the ball game, you know, big third down and seven right here. Uh, quarterback looking to throw, looking to throw, and I uh, was going to throw it over the middle and uh, in and out of the hands of number 17, and he had him. He had him. He was open. Uh, but uh, just overshot him just a little bit. Uh, it's going to bring up a fourth down and seven, and looks like the Tigers are going to go for it. We'll be back. All right, number fourth down. Number three is at the top. Number four is at the bottom. Panthers looking, looking, trying to get some pressure. Uh, he squirts out. He's going to throw it up deep again. And number three is wide open in the back of the end zone for a Tiger touchdown. Whoa, we got a flag on the play. We got a flag on the play. Thank goodness. We got a flag on the play. Woo. I was starting to sing the blues, but uh, we're going to check it out. Looks like a hold on the play. That's why we didn't get that sack, because we would be in hell. Or that's what we're going to say anyway. We'll be back in just a moment. <clears throat> Punting situation for the Tigers. But look at their quarterback is the punter. So you always be leery of that. So, But he is going to punt it. Uh, it's going to be a deep shot. It's going to take a bounce. And uh, it's going to kind of take a... Uh, Bounce in the uh, Panther direction, but uh, it's going to be knocked down at about the 11 yard line. Panthers, 834, plenty of time, trailing by seven, uh, but it got a lot of real estate in front of them, but uh, plenty of time. We'll be back. First down, Panthers. He's going to be Devon off the right side, and uh, looks like he may have a yard, maybe two. Uh, Come bring up a second down and eight. You play with 11 on the offense and 11 on defense, and right now the Tigers are daring us to, to do anything but run it because they've got 10 stacked in the box and saying, please do something else because you're not going to run it on us. And that time, the Panthers looked like they lost a couple yards back inside the 10. So that's going to bring up a third down and 11. Third and long. Panthers looking for something. Tay's going to try to carry up the middle and uh, got flags come in from everywhere. And uh, looks like, uh, I'm not sure what it is. We're going to step aside. We'll be right back. Got a personal foul face mask against the Tigers. Going to get the Panthers a first down out over the 24, about 23 to the 24 yard line. It's going to be a direct snap to Vaughn, and Vaughn's going to carry the ball out to about the 30. Uh, before he'll be rowed down there about the 31 yard line. Uh, got a little grabbing for the ball. Uh, everybody's wanting the ball right now. <laughs> so uh, let's bring up a second down and let's call it a long three. Second down and seven. As we return, be a Tate just gonna keep it and try to go off the right side. And I'm telling you, that's gonna be hard pickings. And uh, Southeast got ten sitting in the box uh, right now. Uh, Panthers might want to think about trying to do something uh, a little bit different. Looks like uh, Tate gonna step out of the ball game. And uh, looks like Vaughn will be taking the snap with uh, Brassfield. Uh, alongside him, uh, got two up backs in the nasty formation, and uh, Vaughn's going to come off the side, and uh, somebody missed a the block there, and uh, ball's going to be out to about the 35, which is going to bring up a, looks like a third down and a long two. Yeah, he should have got it. He should have got it. Panthers pick up the first down. Got Dalton Busby at a tight end. 
He was going to be the brass field. He's looking for running room, and he's not going to get it. They brought some pressure off the edge, and uh, that's going to go for a uh, loss on the plate. Uh, looks like about a yard, yard and a half, maybe two. Bring up a second down and 12. Second down and 12. Playing a little numbers game now. Vaughn looking for some running room off the left side. It's going to have the ball out to about the 35, 36 yard line. It's going to be a gain of a few. And uh, it's going to bring up a third down and let's call it uh, seven. Stoppage on the play. Uh, not sure. It looks like the Panthers are going to take a timeout. 4.34 left to go. We'll be back. After the Panthers' timeout, third down and seven. Vaughn on a direct snap. Got some running room. He's over the 50, to the 40, to the 30, to the 20. To the 10, and he's finally going to be drugged down at about the three yard line. And that's going to be enough for a Panther first down. Uh, he finally played the numbers game and got an off uh, overload to one side, and uh, Panthers uh, scamper some. 55, 60 yards, and have first of all, ball first and goal at the four. We'll be back. Yeah, we're gonna go for two. We got to we get in there. We're going around the right side. First down, Panthers. Keep her around the right Bond side. Vaughn carrying it up the middle is gonna scamper in, in and uh, they're gonna call him down at the at about the half yard line, maybe. Uh, that's where they're gonna mark it at. So they're gonna bring up a second and goal. Uh, at about the one yard line. Uh, uh, just gonna stay with it here. Uh, Panthers. Brassfield and is your up back. Uh, Vaughn is your uh, quarterback right now. And uh, it's gonna be another direction. And they got some pressure that time. They come in and was able to corral him. And that's going to drop him back to uh, about the one, maybe one and a half yard line. So uh, big third down for the Panthers right here. Need to uh, come up with something. Uh, not sure how many Panther timeouts are left. Uh, but uh, kind of the decision time now. It's time to, uh, I mean, uh, I think uh, Southeast is truly sold out to coming and they're going to come off that edge. Uh, it looks like we got a uh, movement, and uh, not sure who that's on. Uh, looks like it's going to be on the Panthers, so that's going to move the ball back to the six-yard line. So, uh, so the Panthers are going to make some changes. We're going to take a timeout ourselves, and we'll be back. Here we go, Panthers fans. It's uh, going to go trips to the left side this time. And uh, Tay's going to carry it right up the middle. And he's going to get in there for a Panther touchdown. Panthers spread it out that time. Went trips to the left and to the bottom side and one to the uh, top side. And uh, was able to get some, some, some clearance out of there. And uh, Tay was able to uh, bob and weave his way off the right side and get into the end zone. So... Panthers uh, decision time now, uh, two-point conversion uh, will give the Panthers the lead, uh, and it looks like they're going to go for two right here. So, uh, hey, you're, this time of year, you got choices to make. You want to roll the dice or what? Uh, looks like uh, Panthers are going to take a timeout and think about this. So, uh, timeout, 2.26 left to go. Panthers trailing 21 to 20. What a ball game this has turned out to be. We'll be back. Tori is on for the extra point. Snaps back. It's a low. And it is up. And it is good. It ain't pretty all the time, but it don't have to be. Woo! 21-21. 236 left to go. We'll be back with the kickoff in just a moment. Tori is on for the extra point. I mean, for the for the kickoff, I'm sorry. 
Here's the kick. Ball's going to be a high boomer down to about the 20, uh, the 36 yard line. Uh, number 22 was the one that, that, uh, that was uh, able to catch it and go down with it. So uh, the uh, Tiger 226, uh, plenty of time. Uh, Panthers got to bow up with the defense right here in a tie ball game, 21-21. Uh, we'll be back. First down Tigers looking to throw, looking to throw. Got plenty of time, gonna throw it up and it's gonna be incomplete. Uh, number three uh, was the intended receiver. Looks like, uh, looks like Brandon White and uh, uh, a couple other Panthers down there on the cover. He's gonna bring up a second down and 10. Second and 10. Quarterback looking to throw. We've got number four open. And he gets away again. He is very shifty. Uh, I don't know how he did it, but he was able to get away again. And uh, that's going to be another Tiger first down, down inside the 40, down to about the 38 yard line. Is where the Tigers have it with uh, two minutes and nine seconds left to go. Uh, plenty of time. Number two's up back alongside the quarterback. Uh, is going to give number two up the middle, and uh, he's still on his feet, and uh, is going to scamper down to about the 25. In two plays, the uh, Tigers have chomped about 40 yards, 35, 40 yards in two plays, and Panthers find herself slowly backing up against the wall quickly with 152. Uh, and counting, uh, Tiger's kind of in a hurry up mode, so we're going to stay with it right here. Uh, Gibbs going to be the number two, and uh, he's uh, going to run into a wall this time. Um, it's going to bring up a second down, and uh, let's call it about nine. Big J.J. Foster on the stop. Uh, pass is going to be out to number four again, and... Uh, uh, it's going to go in and out of the hands. Number three, uh, La Lamarcus Denson uh, comes up and, and uh, is there on the coverage. It's going to bring up a third down and nine when uh, with 117 and on the clock. Uh, the uh, Panthers uh, Love to get a big stop right here. Another pass, and uh, looks like we had a stoppage on the play. Uh, another pass to number four, and uh, got some jaw jacking going on, but they stopped it. It's going to be a false start on the uh, Tigers, so that'll be a five-yard mark off. It's going to bring up a third down and 12, 13 when we come back. Tigers are probably most likely going to throw here. Number three is at the top, number four is at the bottom, and a lot of cushion down here at the bottom. And there's going to be a pass across the middle, and it's going to go over the head of the intended receiver. Uh, looks like uh, LaMarcus Denson on the coverage. Uh, it's going to bring up a fourth down, and Tigers are going to go for it right here. So uh, uh, we're going to – looks like the Tigers are going to take a timeout. Timeout, one ten left to go in the ball game. Tie ball game here in southeast Lauderdale. We'll take a timeout. We'll be back. Trip to the bottom side for the Tigers. Quarterback's going to roll to that side, and he's looking and looking. It's going to be hit, and it's going to be knocked away by LaMarcus Denson. And the Panthers will take over with a minute and four seconds left. Panthers are going to try to uh, uh, host the offense. Uh, uh, onto the field and see if they can do something. If not, uh, we're looking at maybe possibly overtime. So uh, we're going to take a timeout. We'll be right back. First down, Panthers. Tay's going to carry it up the middle. We've got some running room. Quickly, the hole closes up. He's carries out over the 30 to about the 32. Panthers are going to have to uh, hustle to the line. Uh, clock is still continuing to run down around 50 seconds now. Uh, don't know what the Panthers' uh, intentions are here. Uh, 44 and counting. Don't seem to be in too big of a hurry here. Uh, looks like uh, to be trips to the bottom side. Uh, 
Tade's going to run it up the middle again. Ball's on the ground. Ball's on the ground. Number three for the Tigers picks it up. Uh, Panthers put the ball on the ground with 24 seconds left. Uh, looked like they were content to just run the clock out uh, and, and play for overtime. But uh, uh, looks like the Tigers got a new breath of life with the uh, ball hitting the ground. Number three quickly on top of it. So 25 seconds basically left and uh, Panthers getting the defense back out on the field. Uh, Kent Dr. Head right here uh, still got a tie ball game. Uh, uh, they just got to play defense right here. Uh, you got number four and number 17 at the bottom of your screen and number three at the top. So uh, looks like a throwing situation. J.J. Foster giving... Oh, it's going to be intercepted by Trey Davis. And uh, he's going to be dropped. And that's going to turn the ball over with 16 seconds. Now, the Panthers really know, need to just take a knee right here. Now, let's play for overtime. Uh, so um, let's, we're going to take a timeout. We're not the coaches. So we'll be back in just a moment. Panthers in the victory formation. Looks like they're going to take a knee and let's... Uh, play for overtime uh, 13 seconds and counting so uh, that is going to be the last play of regulation we're tied 21-21 after four quarters so uh, free football and you don't even get charged for it we'll be back in just a moment with the overtime session we'll be back southeast is on the offensive end first Bring 17 in motion, going to give to him on the jet sweep. Looking, looking, looking to break outside and can break the one tackle. And looks like he's down about the seven, maybe eight yard line uh, before he's finally ridden out of bounds. Going to bring up a second and goal from the, looks like about the six or seven. Second and goal. Gives the number two. He's. Up the middle, and he's still digging and crying and pulling. And boy, this has been a hard fought ball game. I hate to see either team you lose because uh, uh, they have really fought hard. Third down and goal just inside the five, it looks like. If um, I'm, I'm trying to keep up with the official, I can't see that far down there, but the official on this side is standing uh, just inside the five yard line. So let's call it third and goal from the five. Uh, number 12 still your quarterback uh, number three is to the top number four is down at the bottom of the screen so uh, gotta watch them two guys they are deadly receivers uh, quarterback whoop we had a stoppage on the play uh, looks like uh, Tigers called a timeout just before the snap uh, they got something they saw and wanted to change didn't like or something so we're gonna take a timeout we'll be back in just a moment <laughs> After the timeout, third down, quarterback looking to throw, looking to throw. He's going to throw a bullet, and number 17 makes the catch and is going to get into the end zone for a Tiger touchdown. Swinging gate time. Looks like they're going to kick it. So... Snaps back, kick is blocked, right up the middle. So the score will remain 27-21, and now it's the Panthers' turn. So uh, Panthers got four plays from the 10-yard line, just like Southeast did. So uh, Panthers got to keep their composure, not get uh, caught up in the, uh, in the hype, and uh, just take care of business and uh, uh, do what they do and run the ball hard right here. Uh, uh, then, then, then it comes down to uh, an extra point, possibly. So, uh, four downs, and here we go. Uh, Panthers come out on the field. Uh, looks like uh, looks like Vaughn and Brassfield is going to be in the backfield. Uh, trying to check that out. Looks like we're going to go a little bit with uh, a little bit of a, a balance. Uh, nasty uh, set. Uh, we're going to bring Dalton to the right side. Dalton Busby, that is. Gibbs going to be the no, it's going to be a kick by Vaughn, and Vaughn's going to be down 
Uh, and it's going to be a uh, rugby match uh, down inside the five, down to about the three. Uh, and, and that's where the ball will be spotted. Uh, looks like it's about the three and a half to four yard line. So it's going to be a pickup of about six. Come bring up a second down and let's call it three and a half to four. Dalton Busby goes from left to right again. Got the nasty look, and they're going to stay that way. And Vaughn breaks one tackle, and he's going to be into the end zone for the Panther touchdown. Now it's the two point or the extra point coming. So uh, uh, Torrey is on to the field. So we're tied again at 27. So uh, it all comes down to this. So. One extra point. Uh, Panthers may solidify a spot into the playoffs. Uh, they're stacking the side, and looks like the uh, ball was blown dead beforehand. Uh, looks, not sure what the penalty is, or yeah, I see a flag on the play. So. Uh, Offside, uh, looks like it's offside, offsides on the Southeast Lauderdale, so uh, we'll uh, bring it back and kick it again. You got a timeout? Snaps back, it's high, it's over. It was very high. Wait a minute, we had another stoppage on the play. Uh, looks like an, another outsides on the Tigers, so that's going to take the ball down inside the uh, uh, inside the one. Uh, so uh, Panthers got a decision: are they going? Are we going to kick it, or are we going to go for two? Uh, kind of a decision time. Uh, Looks like the Panthers are going to take a timeout and think about this. Uh, we're going to take a timeout also. We'll be back in just a moment. Extra point again. And looks like Southeast Lauderdale's offsides again. That's three in a row. Uh, how many times are you going to? Uh, I guess I guess they can just split it, split inches until the. Uh, just keep going and keep going. So uh, we're going to step aside. We'll be back. Going to try it one more time. Snaps back. Kicks up. And it is good. Your final score. Panthers win 28-27. Torres, extra point. Uh, it's good. Uh, Panthers, uh, not a lot to cheer about this year. It's been a tough year for the Panthers, and uh, uh, it's been uh, one of those years. And uh, uh, but uh, I know the uh, the football gods are, are smiling on the Panthers now. They've uh, got a little revenge. Southeast Lauderdale uh, has been a nemesis. Uh, been a hard fought ball game uh, every time we play them. I mean, it's just been a uh, a nail biter to the very end every time uh, Panthers lose in a district. First round of the playoffs to Southeast Lauderdale we back about four or five years ago. Uh, but uh, on, a, on a situation just like this, a uh, youngster from Southeast kicks a field goal at the end of the ball game. But we're going to mention our all-state team right now. Uh, we uh, I uh, always want to remember, uh, remember these folks and, and for all they do for Morton football and, and athletics uh, all, all the way around. So uh, this year's 2018 All-State team is Bank of Morton, City of Morton, David Livingston, Livingston Real Estate, DJ's Air Conditioning, Farm Bureau Insurance, French's Pharmacy, Fitness Masters, Fisherman's Corner, Four Square, Gingerbread Kids, Invisible Fence, Ackerberger, Jamie Ackerberger, Ross Dental, Jamie and Ryan Wilkerson, Jeff Coat Fence Company, Jimmy Stedman and Billie Jean Stedman, JJ Imports, Johnny Harrell Beat Four Supervisor, Cook Foods, Marshall Variety Store, McCurdy Auto Sales, Moore Construction, Morton Finance Company, Morton Fire Department, Morton Parks and Recreation, Mississippi Care Center of Morton, Parrot Carpet Center, Priority One Bank, 
Representative Tom Miles, Ron's Auto Sales, Scott Central Hospital, Scott Regional Hospital, I'm sorry, Stephen Crotwell, Beak 3 Supervisor, The Blaine Companies, The Citizens Bank, and Thompson and Hollingsworth. Thank you, our 2018 All State team, for all that you do. Your final score from Southeast Lauderdale tonight Panthers 28. We might. Southeast Lauderdale, 27. Uh, long ride home. Hey, next week is Forest Week. Next week is Forest Week, so don't forget about that. Come out and support the Panthers next Friday night as they take on the Bearcats for the Golden Chicken. Uh, we would love to get a big win. We need a big crowd next Friday night. We hope to see you there. For Donovan Offer, this is James O'Kane. We hope you have a good rest of the week. Have a good night, and God bless.